James Conner last season, 208 rush attempts, 1,040 yards, seven rushing touchdowns, had an additional 27 receptions on 33 targets, 165 yards, and two touchdowns through the air. Thoughts on James Conner? This is my, I don't think I would rather have Raheem Mostert point <laughs> of the last people that we've talked about. Uh, I think you've got one, maybe two years left of James Conner being the James Conner that we know, uh, which is where you're going to get him for about 13 games. You get him for about 700. Last year he had over 1,000 yards, but I think that was because there was no Kyler last year, right? So he became the featured piece of the Arizona offense. Kyler's back. So some of that rushing work goes away because Kyler will inevitably scramble for, for more um, more plays uh, instead of turning around and handing the ball off. Uh, so I think that here's here is a probable season for James Conner. Call it 190 carries. Call it 800 yards, seven touchdowns, uh, and maybe two more touchdowns through the air. I don't know where that puts him as a finish, but that feels about right. Is a good piece, you know, whether he's a flex piece, whether he's your RB2, depending on, you know, if you're going uh, – zero or hero RB, right? That's kind of your strategy, and you're just stacking up on wide receiver in between. I don't mind, Connor. Um, I still think I'd rather have Raheem Mostert. Like, it's it just personal preference. Now, I think it's getting – I think it might get a little bit closer with James Connor. but if I'm getting James Connor, that means I have to draft Trey Benson. Like, I just have to draft Trey Benson. So, that means I'm spending – Another pick on a backup running back for the four or five games that I'm going to absolutely need him because Connor's not going to be able to go. Like he just is not, for whatever reason, he just gets dinged up a little bit. Honestly, I think this is pretty much his floor with what you're getting at James Connor. So the sky, the sky is the limit, right? We've seen him finish as high as RB five in his career. I think realistically you could see him get up, you know, from where he's drafted here, RB 23. I think you could see him sneak, you know, maybe RB 13, 14. Yeah. Because I do think that we will see him, um, you know, ultimately perform up there in the eight to 900 yards rushing. Uh, we, you know, we'll probably see him get right around 10 total touchdowns when the season's all done. So I think there's a lot of really good value in there and we'll see a, a guy that can uh, get right around that, um, you know, get kind of right around that, that RB 20 type of type of finish to it. But I do like James Conner, do like what he, uh, what he provides for your fantasy roster. Uh, but there is just a little bit of hesitation there. 